Wilt Raven fam, game one, we already know who QB2 is. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty. All right, so. I'm going to say the best for last. You already know what the best is. Defense. Nice. So, Trace McSorley, first half. Um, what can I say? Um, hmm. Quick three and out first series, but I'm like, you know what, this is, you know, first series don't expect much, you know what I'm saying, second series, I'm like, okay, I'm expecting a little bit, but not a lot, I'm like, you're battling for QB2, okay, so, but, they just kept blitzing, blitzing, and it's like, he, I, he really didn't have a lot of time because the offensive line was uh, that was like our second, third type of strings offensive line. Now Bozeman was out there for a little bit. He got nicked up a little bit at left, but I just think they just wanted him to get it just a little, just a little sweat. You know what I'm saying? Just to get that live game action. Um, but. Mm. Trace McSorley didn't do much. Like, it was stall after stall after stall. And I'm like, dude, you holding on the ball too long. Then on some of the passes that you did make, a lot of them was to Dale, which is not bad. But I'm like, you got to spread that ball around or they going to start concentrating on that one person. And... Like some of the throws he was throwing to like Moore and uh, or Prochet, uh, Josh Oliver, um, Tyson. He just it was just delayed. Like they'll make the cut, and I can tell they were expecting the ball to be there, but they was waiting. It's like he didn't have that trust with him. He's like, dude, you got it. These these routes they running, and I'm talking about I'm talking about one route I did not like it later, and that was when Tyler Huntley, Hunt, Huntley was out there. But the routes they was running, it was just like slants, kind of like a out routes, things such as that, and they had to wait on the ball. I'm like, those will get intercepted because you're not trusting them. I remember one play, I believe it was to. Uh, it was too more. He went up and went out, and they showed the replay. He was already there. He was just like waiting for the ball. I'm waiting here. And then the corner. By the time the ball got there, the cornerback caught up with him. He couldn't do no yak yardage. And I'm like, dude, these are timed routes you're doing. What's the problem? You didn't miss practice like Lamar. You didn't miss 10 days like Lamar did. So what is the problem? And the Saints seen that he could not handle in the offensive line, could not handle the blitz because he was not getting the ball out fast enough to make him regret that blitz. So they kept getting him and getting him. Then Greg Roman was like, Okay, let's go with no audible. They want to blitz, let's tire them out. Then with the no audible, he actually started getting the ball out a lot faster. Then he started moving it up and down the field. But as soon as that no audible slowed down and the blitz slowed down, he started doing a little bit, but not enough. 
He didn't get no touchdown. And I'm like, dude, and the, what the defense was doing for him, the Ravens defense, like what, three, four turnovers in the first half? And I'm like, dude, they're balling out. And you're not putting any points on the board. Tucker hit that 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 one good one, and I was like, okay, okay. Then I, I called my super uh, uh, fifth round pick because somebody's gonna might trade for him, and we might get a fifth round pick for him. But he went out there and he was like showcasing. Hey, I'm a good cooker. I'm available. Just give up a fifth rounder. Maybe a fourth. You never know. Teams might be desperate. Well, hey, Washington. I just read a report about Washington's kicker. Just saying. But I'm like, what's going on, McSorley? So McSorley's stats is 18 attempt, 11 complete. you like, that's not that bad. But he sacked himself pretty much one time. To me, he sacked himself. From what I saw, he looked like he sacked himself. Cause he just fell forward. And I was like, dude, what the heck? Average was 4.8 yards. Then he he tried to run. And I was like, that's, that's not your specialty. But um, four carries, 25 yards. Now four carries, 25 yards. You're like, that's not that bad. But his one of his longest runs was 22 yards. So you take away that 22-yard run, he literally had three carries for one yard. What? Like, if you see them blitzing, you try to get out that pocket real quick. Make something happen. So he had got the Ravens a total of nine points in the first half. Zero in the first quarter. But nine points in the first half. All what the defense did. Then second half starts. And I'm like, okay, Huntley. Time to do your thing. Huntley came out there. They try to bliss him. He got out the pocket. In my, in my opinion, he's a lot faster than McSorley. So he made him regret it. He ran. But hey, y'all want to bliss me? Okay, I'm just going to run it. You ain't giving me time to look up and down the field. I'm just going to run it. I'm going to make you regret it. Then when he did throw, he did a little, you know, Roman. He do his little, his little screen passes and all of that. He did that. He was gelling. Ball was moving pretty good. And then he got a little bit cocky, I would say. But he was killing him with his little runs here and there, keeping the drive going. But then he fumbled. Everybody seen they put the camp right when he fumbled. He, he got lit. <laughs> that man got lit. But right when that happened and he fumbled, they automatically had that camera on hard. And hard was like, "You come here." And I'm like, "Oh, if you wasn't the quarterback. That's doghouse right there, man. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows Harvey's doghouse." He came back, Harp, Harp said something quick to him. It wasn't long, he was quick. He came back, and then he drove down the field. He said, no, he got the only touchdown that the Ravens received in that game. And got a two point conversion with, I believe it was Williams going up the middle. I'm like, man, and his stats was 16 attempt, 12 completed, 79 yards, 4.9 average, 
zero interceptions. Trey Smith Sorley had one interception, but they kind of balanced out. Trey Smith Sorley had an interception. Huntley had a fumble. So those turnovers, they balanced out with each other. But the QB rating, that was the gap. Huntley won it 85. Trey Smith Sorley, 49. And on seven carries with 43 yards, and I told you the TD, 6.1 yards average rushing for Huntley. So you can see the, the difference. And I feel he kind of spread the ball a little bit, even though if you know the Ravens, preseason don't expect, don't expect a lot to see a lot of the playbook. They do not show the playbook whatsoever in the preseason. Now, when we play the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm expecting to see some creativity from Greg Roman. But, the best for last before I end this thing, the defense. Man, that defense. Geno, two interceptions. PQ, Hey, got a tackle for loss on one play. Then the play right after, he's like, okay, I'll give me a sack. And, and Taysom Hill ran, pretty much ran straight to him. Uh, you and the New Orleans fans? Yeah. Mm. I don't know if y'all seen my reaction video, but y'all gonna have you a top 10, top 5 pick. You might want to start looking at them quarterbacks in college right now. Because y'all gonna need it. Now, uh, I believe it's, uh, what was it, uh, Winston? Winston should be y'all starter. Okay, he he to me he played a lot better than Taysom Hill, but that's just my opinion. But the defense for the Ravens, Geno Stone, man, that dude balled out, and I believe he was injured last year. I do not. I think he was on IR last year. If I remember correctly, I think he got injured. It was, it was something that happened. I remember that. I believe he got injured. Let me just verify that information. But Gino, he did that thing. Man. He was flying to the ball. And I loved every single moment. And that one interception he got when he was like sliding, that was, ooh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful like instinct, everything. And then, um, Owe, Owe, he was doing a lot of bull rush. I did not like that, but he was getting close to the quarterback. Though. He was getting close to the quarterback. I wonder if, if he's, they just want him just kind of get his feet wet, kind of teaching him some new moves or whatever, but um, he did that. Yeah, I, I, I he was fast, but you can still see he's he's got the technique. But um, he's gonna he only learn learning from um, Justin Houston for what one week now, I believe. So I believe as the preseason go and as the season go and as practice go, we're gonna see him get better, better, and better. Can't wait to see this young man. And then um, one person I want to see as well is uh, Darius Washington. That dude, he came out there, I think they said he was just like out there for one play or something like that. And he did his thing. Like, it was weird. I believe he forced a fumble. He was out there, yeah, uh, like one or two plays. But he forced a fumble, passed, and that pass deflection he had, he almost picked it off just like that. And I'm like, this dude is flying. He's gonna be a, who? He, he's gonna be special. He's gonna be a Raven. Okay, you know the Ravens always gotta get somebody that was undrafted and they stay on the team and he's looking like that dude. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have more than one this year. But I was just that quick. I was like, this dude, 
out there. Because they were talking about, they were like, oh, Darius Washington is on the field now. Uh, he's an undrafted free agent. They, the Ravens were saying they had him in between the fourth and the fifth pick. Um, they were surprised he was still there with the free agency. He's an undrafted player. Uh, and they gave him so much money to sign with the Ravens. That's how much they wanted him. I'm like, y'all just let them know, hey, we, we want you, dude. We, we going to do everything in our power to try to keep you. From signing from another team. Now, I don't think he's gonna hit no practice squad. If he hit practice squad, I think they, they know he's gonna be gone. So they're gonna be real iffy with the practice squad. But I love what I saw from him. And our starters, like I said, PQ, he's already in the regular season mode. If that man continue to play like what he did yesterday, and I know that's just preseason, but this was his actual full season, off season with the Ravens, because last year was the pandemic and everything. He couldn't really, you know, they were doing that little virtual learning type thing. He was dominant. So I'm expecting to see a lot from him this year. And they kept him out there for a good little while. I wonder if he had the green dot, cause they showed one little sequence. It looked like he had the green dot on his helmet when the other starters was out. But that was something interesting I saw. But so y'all just tell me what y'all think about the first Ravens uh, preseason game. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the share. Thanks for the support. Let's go to next week. And I believe it's the Panthers. Panthers has problems. Who is a quarterback? I can't even remember. Donald? I can't remember. It ain't important. We gonna win it. Everybody have a good one.